Hey, it's Ivan here. I got asked a question about what should be a reasonable budget or investment in a monthly retainer or a payment structure with an agency to help you with your SEO search engine optimization for your newly published website or existing business. And I wanted to give an answer in video because it's just a common question that I have received over the years and I've never really recorded a video and I wanted to cover this topic of SEO SEO optimization, and also the budget, what you should expect. So there's a couple of different variables that are very important to understand. Number one, are you a local business or are you an online business? If you're a local business, then SEO strategy is way more making sense to what you do. And a local business, I have done that for a couple of businesses specifically, uh, a private school and also a magician actually. Uh, and that's the experience that I have with local businesses. And the main things you really want to do with local businesses is you want to definitely have the Google Maps set up. You want to set up Google My Business. You want to also collect reviews and use Google reviews. And then you want to publish content regularly on your social media and blogs and content and uh, have multiple pages on your website as well that are keyword optimized to the type of things that people are searching for. So that's very important type of stuff that you need to do. There's a whole other strategy that I can go into what I've just told you in way more deeper, but that's not really the purpose of this video. But those are the basic things you wanna set up if you're a local business. Now, the majority of people I work with are not local business owners. They are actually solopreneurs, online business owners, coaches, consultants, course creators, membership site owners, freelancers, and affiliate marketers. SEO strategy does not really make sense for these types of people when you're getting started because SEO strategies can take months to actually get any sort of results and investment of any money in these strategies will actually eat away from being able to put that money and the effort into other strategies that are going to yield you much faster results. For example, if you want to go and hire an SEO agency to take care of your SEO, you're looking at a few hundred dollars per month at an absolute minimum. And that is like, you're, you're getting pretty much nothing for it, right? And you'll get very little. And also realize that there's no chance you'll get any sort of results within three months as an absolute minimum. Most agencies that I know of, they don't even take you on unless you're willing to put in at least three months. And that's because they know, even when they are maybe are not very legitimate or they're not very good at what they do, they really know like three months, there's zero chance they'll get anywhere with you, right? So a lot of them really lock you into contracts. So 12 months is really what you should be thinking with. So let's just say an SEO agency quotes you $500 a month and you're thinking, okay, I'll give it three months and see how it goes. No, don't do it. Unless you're willing to put in six grand for the year, $500 per month at the absolute minimum, do not even bother. It's just not even worth your while. Now, also, it depends massively on your niche. If you're in the health niche, if you're in weight loss, if you're in affiliate marketing, the chances of you ranking on these keywords is so small as a solopreneur, you're gonna need like thousands and thousands of dollars per month to invest into content creation, backlinks, and all sorts of things to be able to optimize your content and publish new content and create relationships and, and uh, get backlinks that are just not even you're going to struggle so much to even rank on page one, let alone staying there. Because once you get to page one, don't think that there isn't other people who are investing in their SEO who aren't trying to knock you off the port, they, they knock, knock you off the top, basically. So the strategy of SEO, it's really not about a 12 month, six month thing. You got to be thinking with, okay, if I'm putting a thousand dollars a month for SEO strategies, that's all good. Can I maintain a thousand dollars a month investment for my entire entirety of my business for, for years to come? If the answer is no, don't even bother. It's not even worth your while because you're not going to get the results as quickly as you think. You're much better off investing your efforts, your energy into social media marketing. Now, there is value in SEO strategies that you can implement right away, right now. And you do that as a solopreneur, which align with being able to find customers faster by getting in front of other people's audiences making yourself known and forming meaningful connections. I have a video somewhere around here where I answer the question, how to rank your system IO or your website on Google, where I covered those strategies in greater detail. And I recommend you watch that as well, where I'm going to tell you, okay, so I'm telling you basically, 
unless you're willing to put in some big bucks on your SEO, don't even bother. Okay, so what do you do instead? That video is going to tell you exactly what I recommend to do. But I did want to answer the budget question because the budget is really important to understand because you're really looking at a long-term investment. So if you are in that position, great. Uh, but just realize there's really like SEO agencies that charge 10 grand a month, 20 grand a month, even 100 grand a month. And that's totally cool. That's totally standard. That's like corporations and B2B. Like that's actually normal for companies to pay that much to be able to rank. That's how competitive it can be. And that's the ongoing marketing uh, aspect that is required in some cases. So if you're a solopreneur, you really should be thinking about a few hundred dollars per month as a minimum before to, to even get started. And unless you're ready to commit to it for the long haul, don't even bother. That's my suggestion. Might not be popular. If you have different thoughts, leave them in a comment. If you don't agree with me, I'd love to know. And if this was helpful to you, leave a comment below as well to let me know. Otherwise, I will I'll leave the video that I shared about ranking your website on Google uh, somewhere around here so you can check it out next. And uh, that's about it. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you have additional questions for me, leave them in a comment for me below. I'd love to answer those. Thanks.